In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can save a lot of time by using a simple spreadsheet to bulk upload Pinterest pins to Pinterest. It's a completely free method and it's actually not that complicated, but there are a few things that you have to remember because honestly, if you don't do it right, it may actually hurt your account. So let's get into it. I want to make it as quick and as easy to understand as possible. First, there is a whole article about bulk uploading pins on the official site of Pinterest. If you want to have a look at it, the link is in the description. It basically describes all of the best practices and you have all of the instructions here so if you feel stuck if you don't know what to do you can simply read that article you know what to do at the top of this article pinterest says that you can bulk upload up to 200 images or videos at once but this feature is not perfect and i actually recommend sticking up to 100 or 150 images because if you do 200 you may experience some errors they also say that for help creating your spreadsheet please use our sample spreadsheet and review the formatting practices below you can simply click here on sample spreadsheet it's going to download the spreadsheet and you will be able to access it okay so it may seem a bit difficult to understand because it looks weird the columns here are in a pretty weird order i have no idea why they put title as the first one and description somewhere in the middle in my opinion it should be next to each other but whatever the order of columns doesn't matter so i'm gonna move to google sheets and i'm gonna show you how i do it okay so this is our spreadsheet and i changed the order of the columns at the top to make it easier to understand. So title is the pin title, description is the pin description, media URL is the link to our pin image, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Link is the link to our article. Pinterest board, that's the name of our board. We've got the publish date, thumbnail, and keywords. For the purpose of this video, let's assume that we want to schedule pins for these five articles, five beef recipes, five chicken recipes, five healthy desserts, 10 chicken casserole ideas, and five detox salads. This is just an example. It's not a real site, but let's assume that you have a food blog and you want to create and schedule pins for these articles. Of course, you need to create pins somehow. So there are a lot of different ways of doing it. I have a few videos about it on my channel, so I'm not going to go into detail here, but for these five articles, I created pins with ideogram. So this is what I created. We've got five beef recipes, five chicken recipes, five healthy desserts, 10 chicken casserole ideas, and five detox salads. This is how I do it, but it's not the only way of how you can do it. You can use Mid Journey, you can use Recraft, you can use Google Gemini, you can use Canva, whatever works for you, that's fine. So basically I chose the best ones, the ones that I like the most, and now I have a folder with five images each one of them is a different pin. Now to make this spreadsheet method work, we need to host our images somewhere. And we are not uploading images directly to Pinterest. We need to enter links to these images here in the spreadsheet. And then Pinterest is going to download these images from these links. One of the easiest ways to do it is to simply go to your WordPress dashboard, go to media and click add media file. Then you can simply select all of your pins, all of your images and just drag it here. And it's going to upload all of these images. After a few seconds, you'll notice that all of these images are now uploaded to your WordPress site. And all you have to do now is to copy the URLs to the spreadsheet. So for example, five beef recipes, let's click copy URL, let's go to our spreadsheet and let's paste the URL here. And of course you have to do the same with all of the remaining images. So let's copy the chicken recipes, let's paste it here, let's grab the detox salads, let's paste it here. Now the healthy desserts, let's paste it here. And let's grab the chicken casserole ideas. Let's paste it here. Okay, so these two columns are ready. Now it's time to create titles and descriptions. And of course, there are a lot of different ways of doing it. You can do it with ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Claude, DeepSeek, so many different ways of doing it. Um, I'm gonna stick to ChatGPT. As an example, I use ChatGPT 5 to create these titles and descriptions. I'm not gonna go into detail here, but if you want to get access to all of my prompts that I'm using on a daily basis, it's all available inside of the Pin Lions community. The link is in the description. But even without my prompts, you can simply ask ChatGPT to give you titles and descriptions, ideally in a table format, because now you can just copy it and you can paste it 
into your spreadsheet. Okay, so we've got the title, we've got the description, we've got the image and we've got the link. So now we have to figure out the Pinterest board. So of course it all depends on what boards you already created on your Pinterest account. Let's assume that it's beef recipes, chicken recipes, healthy desserts, chicken casserole, and detox salads. Pay attention to this because it's very important. Ideally, you should enter the board names of boards that already exist. What you have to know is that if you enter, for example, beef recipes and you don't have that board yet, it's gonna be created immediately. If it's just one or two boards, that's not the problem. But let's assume that you have 150 links here 150 images and you enter like 20 or 25 boards that don't exist yet. All of the new boards will be created at the same time. So if you create like 20 or 30, well, that may trigger some spam filters. That's why I believe that it's important to focus only on boards that already exist. If you don't have these boards yet, well, maybe just create them manually and then enter the correct name here. Now, the last important column is the publish date. You have to use exactly that format because otherwise it may not work. So at first you have the date, it's the 8th of September. 6.30. This is important because Pinterest uses UTC time. So right now UTC time is 23 past 11. For example, in Poland it's 23 past 1 p.m. So that's a two hour difference. So now we can just copy it and paste it here down below. We can set it to 7.30 a.m. let's say and we can do the same for the rest of our links. Now it's very important to actually set up the publish date because if you leave that field empty well all of your pins will be published immediately and that may trigger spam filters. So be careful with it honestly because if you don't do it right it may actually damage your account for a long term. We've got two columns left thumbnail can be empty because that's for videos and keywords, well, you can use keywords if you want, but you don't have to. Personally, I'm not using keywords for that feature. But if you want to use keywords, you can simply enter related keywords separated by commas. So it could be like beef recipes, beef dinner, healthy dinner, stuff like that. So now we've got everything. We've got the publish date, we've got the board, we've got the link, we've got the images, titles and descriptions. So now we simply have to download that CSV, go to Pinterest and upload it. To upload the CSV, you have to go to the settings of your Pinterest account and click on bulk create pins. Then just upload CSV file here and that's it. If you did everything right, it may take up to two hours before you actually see these pins on your account in scheduled pins. So that's how it works and it can save you a lot of time because let's say you are posting 10 pins a day. You can spend a few hours and prepare a massive spreadsheet with 140 links and then basically you can pretty much don't do anything for the next two weeks once everything is scheduled. So here's a quick reminder because we don't want you to get hurt, we don't want your account to get banned for some reason. Always enter publish date because if you leave it empty, all of your pins will be published immediately. This is very important because if you publish multiple pins at the same time, the algorithm may flag you as spam. Like I said before, ideally use boards that already exist or create your boards before bulk uploading. If you schedule 100 pins and you enter 10 or 15 boards that do not exist yet, all of these boards will be created immediately. So again, it may trigger some spam filters. And the last thing is not necessary, but I like to rename file names of my pins. I'm not sure if it actually works, but in theory, having main keywords as file name can have positive impact on reach. You don't have to do it, but this is what I do and I'm seeing fantastic results on Pinterest. So maybe it's worth trying. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Of course, I want to invite you to my private community called Pin Lions. So if you want to get access to all of my strategies, workflows, custom tools that I created, and if you want to connect with nearly 80 or even 90 people from all around the world who are doing the same thing, join the community. The link is in the description. The community is growing and I'm going to add a lot of cool things in the coming weeks. So if you want to be a part of it, you know what to do. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this quick video was helpful and if it was consider subscribing to this channel. See you next time.